It's March 2018. Another big project milestone will take place in April with the tunnels beginning to be filled with water. In this video, we'll look at getting the facility ready for commissioning. The project was initiated in 2007. InPower BC started construction in 2014. And this is the exciting year when everything goes operational. We'll start here at the John Hart Dam and the completed water intake works. Water is ready to be passed under the dam and enter the power tunnel down to the powerhouse. Water will pass into the concrete water intake structure and then drop down the power tunnel shaft located below the white access hatch. InPower BC began work on the new intake at the dam in spring 2015. And now three years later, the site is essentially fully developed and ready to operate. In April, water from the reservoir will begin passing through the new water intake works and into the large white valves and down Elk Falls Canyon. The smaller valve can provide up to 10 cubic meters per second and provide the year-round fish habitat flow, including seasonal fish migration and spawning flows. Brewster Lake Road across the John Hart Dam, closed for three years, is set to partially open to the public on April 30th. Watering up the power tunnel will also be happening in April. Here we can see the completed tunnel and the power tunnel manifold where water will enter the various water inlets into the lower powerhouse. We are moving through the main access tunnel to the powerhouse area where the three water bypass units and the three turbines generators are located. The big focus is the electrical and mechanical work and pulling the cable through the cable trays. In March, there were about 85 General Electric staff and about 60 FMI staff working at the project site. The project plans to have the water bypass facility operational in May and the first generator operational and producing electricity in June. The 70-year-old John Hart Journey Station has provided a good source of power, but now it's time has come to be replaced with a new and improved facility. In May, water will begin to flow through about 2.2 kilometers of underground tunnel and enter the Cam River from this tunnel outlet. We're transitioning from the old facility to the new facility, and to coordinate that process, we need to permanently shut down the existing generators to allow work within the substation. The first generator was shut down in October 2017 by George Ann Price, the wife of the first plant manager at John Hart. The second generator was shut down in March of this year by City Cam River Mayor and Council. We need to remember the past as we look to the future and the economic benefits this facility creates on Vancouver Island. Paul, how many people are working at the site? And tell us about your excellent safety record. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, we have about 300 people working on the project right now as we head towards having the facilities operational by October of this year. In Power BC, along with our design builder SNC Lavalin and our other main contractors, Acon and General Electric, we're all very proud of the fact that we're nearing 3 million person hours on the project without a lost time accident. Impressive. It's really an exciting time with the water about to flow inside the tunnels. It absolutely is, and after four years of construction, we've really come a long way. We'll see you in October when this amazing facility will be commissioned. 